My name is Delia Katakutan. I am a senior social scientist at the World Agroforestry Center, and I am based in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, for this conference, I'm going to present a case study of um, um, our work in Indonesia. Um, but first of all, let me say that um, ICRAF has been working on more than three dozens of learning and action research sites to, to try and understand um, the concept and practice behind payments for ecosystem services as an approach or an instrument for, for sustainable watershed management and, um, and as an approach for achieving you know, the green economy. Uh, but in this, in this case study presentation, I will highlight just one case in Indonesia. And this is about um, a localized conservation agreements between local communities who are forest communities in, this, in Sumberjaya watershed, which is a sub-district in the western coast of Sumatra. In, the, uh, in Sumatra Islands in Indonesia and um, the local government, the forestry people as well as the hydropower plant in, in that area. So I'm going to, to share in the marketplace how a conservation agreement was developed with support from science. Um, ICRAF has been working on soil erosion studies and agroforestry and hydrological modeling in in that area and we have shown how uh, science and research information can play a role in the negotiations for payments for ecosystem services as well as in structuring the payments. So um, this is for us a very important um, contribution to the practice, to improving the practice of uh, payments for ecosystems on the ground. Because one of the issues actually we encounter in payments for ecosystem services is actually establishing the cost-effect relationships. So um, um, science actually play an important role in establishing that relationship so that the payments are going to be realistic and that the conditions of the contracts are going to be based on what is really on the ground. So uh, this is for us a very exciting um, sort of contribution to the knowledge and practice of payments for ecosystem services. So I hope that I'm able to convey this experience uh, in the marketplace and I also hope that um, people in the marketplace are able to extract lessons um, for you know lessons for scaling up as well as for you know wider application um, in areas that are actually contested by different claims over forest resources and where where government has control over these resources and yet doesn't have the cap capability to to manage these resources so um, and this is a very important message that I would like to bring into this table as well as in the Rio plus 20 debate so I'm really hoping that we could uh, cross the message uh, uh, very well in this meeting